Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from Navarro Kingdom, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own pixel art NFT in no time at all. This is a very lucrative skill, and it is so easy to do. As you can see from my total balance right here, I've made over $200 from NFTs, and I barely put any effort into it at all. The only NFTs that I put on my account are literally the ones I use for tutorials on YouTube to educate you guys. And this is what I've sold from putting no effort into marketing or anything like that. So if you guys really put your mind into this, you could make so much money out of these NFTs, which is why I highly suggest watching this video so you can learn. Also, if you're new to the NFT game, if this kind of scares you or you don't understand stuff, I'm going to make this noob tutorial so it's absolutely noob proof. Even if you are a complete beginner, you will understand. If you're an intermediate learner, you will understand. I will use easy words. I will not use these complex blocks chain blah 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 because i knew when i first started getting into nfts the way some of these influencers would talk about nfts would just confuse me i wouldn't understand what they were talking about because they would use all these fancy words that wasn't in my vocabulary yet so that is why we're going to make this as noob friendly as possible so the process that we're going to be going through is first i'm going to show you guys how you can actually make the nft itself and we're going to be using this site called pixel art i've actually used pixel art before in one of my earlier tutorials a couple weeks back and it is a fantastic program completely free which is what i love this is the program that majority of these nft collections are being made in and it's a common trend most of the big nft collections are literally pixel art images which you can make for free on this website after we do that i'm going to be showing you guys how to get that posted to OpenSea in no time at all so let's get right into it but before we do leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more nft content it helps me out a ton and if you stick around till the end of the video i have a nice little surprise for you guys to give back to the community so when you get to pixelart.com you can make an account if you would like or you can literally just make your art without an account it's all up to you so let's go to the start drawing tab it's going to ask you for the width and height i'd suggest just keeping them at 100 100 or you can go down a little bit. We're just gonna go down to maybe 64 by 64 because I'm not gonna make the most detailed design today just because it is a tutorial. You can go even less than this, like maybe 32 by 32, which honestly I might just do because I am not the greatest artist ever. You guys are probably way better than I am, but we're gonna use that. You can select a color palette. We're not gonna do that. And I just realized below, I'm stupid. There already is a 32 by 32 option. So you can literally just click that and bam, it will take you right into the canvas. So here's our 32 by 32 canvas. Now this is so easy to do. I probably don't even need to explain it to you. That's how easy this website is to use. But basically you have the pencil tool right here. You can take your mouse and just draw pixels on the screen. You have your colors over here. So if you want red, if you want purple or pink. Now something cool you can do is add layers. So you can do that by hitting the plus icon and it adds a separate layer. So as you can see, we're gonna cover all this red with the pink, but then when we move the layer down by hitting the move layer down button, it will be shown. Now, honestly, in pixel art, having different layers isn't really that key, but you can utilize that if you'd like. And if you wanna delete a layer, you can just hit the trash icon, delete, simple as that. Now there's some cool sidebar tools that you can use like this one, the spray paint one, which just gets nice blotches on the screen. So if you wanted to have like a cool background, you could definitely do that. Also, there is this bucket tool, which is going to cover the entire screen. So this is perfect for different backgrounds. Let's say I wanted a blue background like so, you can do that. So I'm actually gonna go with this blue background. I'm kind of vibing with it. And I actually like these little, little splotches. I think this is a nice base for a background. There's also the gradient tool as well, which puts a nice gradient on everything. And you can choose which colors you like in that gradient by utilizing this color palette tool right here. 
And if you ever find yourself messing up, you can hit the eraser tool over here, which is E and just erase away. There's also these other tools like the circle tool, which creates a obvious circle like so. And you can actually hit shift and this keeps the circle proportions intact. Also the same thing for the square. You can also add text, which is very cool. So we'll do viral kingdom. So just really cool stuff all around, but I am going to quickly create my NFT and I'll probably throw up a montage, but I highly suggest you guys test out all the different options within this amazing program. Alrighty, and the masterpiece is complete. Here we have my take on a variation of some type of crypto punk. I'm not really sure what this is, but I did create it in a couple minutes, so I think it's okay for what it is. At the end of the day, this is a tutorial, and you guys are the real artists who are going to create some masterpieces. So once you are finished with your NFT, what you can do is actually download it by selecting the download option up here now when it asks you to change the dimensions i highly suggest raising them a little bit i'd get to at least 1k by 1k which i think is the best resolution so when you hit download.png it will save right to your computer and now you're set up for the next step so once you're on OpenSea, this is the site we'll be using to upload and attempt to sell our nft you actually want to connect your crypto wallet now if you don't already have a crypto wallet i highly suggest watching a tutorial on how to make one it's incredibly simple to do and i'll even leave some examples down in the description so you can see how to do it in this tutorial we're going to be using metamask which is one of the biggest crypto wallets and the one i personally use so i would recommend that alrighty so once your wallet is connected you will see this wallet icon right here and it will show your balance and whatnot then you can go on to the next step and you can do this by going to the OpenSea homepage and hitting create. It will then ask you to sign in. You can just hit sign in and then bam, you'll be presented with this page right here. Here is where you can upload that NFT pixel art that you just created. So I'm going to upload this masterpiece in there and we are going to call it Tutorial Punk. Then you can link your website or whatnot and provide a description of this NFT you've created. I'm not going to do any of that just because I don't even know what I would say. From here, you can select the collection that you would like your NFT to be in. If you haven't created a collection already, don't worry, you can do that later. Then there's the properties. I wouldn't really, really worry too much if you're just doing a one-off with the properties, but if you choose to do so, you can add all the different properties. So let's say for hair, I know in mine they have green, so we're going to set that to green. You wanted to do like um, the color, I think the color of my tutorial punk was tan, so we can just do that. Uh, if you wanted to do earring, because I know mine has one, you can just add yellow because it has a yellow earring and so on you get the gist of it then you can even add levels like the speed and statistics as well we're not going to add any of those unlockable content i would only tick off if you are making an nft unviewable but for the most part you want people to see what they're purchasing before they actually purchase it and then if your nft is explicit or whatnot you want to turn this on if it is for the supply, I'd keep that at one. And here is the big one. Change this from Ethereum to Polygon. This is going to make it free for you to create your NFT with absolutely no gas fees. Then you just want to hit create and bam, your NFT is on the market, but you still have to attempt to sell it because right now it's in your ownership. So you can go and hit sell and you can put whatever amount you want in. So we're going to do, let's say 0.003. <laughs> so about $14 and yeah, we'll set it at six months as you can see service fees fees 2.5% and yeah the tutorial punk is on the market if you want to go purchase it you can it will be out there I'll probably leave a link in the description as well 
It is an awful masterpiece. I know you guys are going to create some amazing stuff. And with that being said, make sure to let me know in the comment section what you guys have created with this pixel art website. I'd love to see your creations and possibly purchase one myself. I have a ton of funds in my crypto wallet, so I'm looking to buy some NFTs. Let me know yours in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and peace. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.